Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with another How to Draw video. Today I have the great pleasure of working with these brand new art supplies that I have received from the man himself, Jazza. That's right, Jazza's Pro Artist Series. Very kindly Jazza sent this box to me filled with wonderful art supplies. I'm going to be showing you in just a second. And uh, yeah, I'll be using these art supplies today to create a paper craft project, which, uh, as you would imagine, is going to be devoted to Jazza himself. More on that later, but let's go ahead and have a look inside. So probably the most eye-popping part of the collection is this 26-piece marker set with all the colors hand-chosen by Jazza himself. I love it when uh, they are chosen by an illustrator because they know what kind of colors we really need. And look how nicely laid out. They'll never be facing in the same direction like this again, folks. I promise you. <laughs> Once I have at them, they will be pointing all over. There will be new directions as yet undiscovered by man that I'll have them pointing in. Um, but yeah, looking forward to digging into those. As I start working on today's project, you get this really high quality cardstock. This is not like office paper. This stuff is good and thick and holds up to markers. Uh, and uh, I would think even watercolor stuff like that. And look at that. You've also got these beautiful uh, coloring pages created by Jazza himself showing off his gorgeous artwork. And, you know, this is great for, I would think, um, getting up to speed on the coloring, right? Where you can uh, practice on these before you start making your own uh, illustrations, uh, you know, using your own line art. But, uh, yeah, something like 20 of these that come with the set. And, of course, that's not all. You get this gorgeous set of colored pencils. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Beautiful uh, colored pencil set there. Again, it'll never look this beautiful ever again, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Only on opening day. Uh, but yeah, you got pencils, erasers, uh, and also these lovely ink pens. I'm looking forward to using these for today's project. Speaking of which, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's a quick little doodle of what I have in mind. I want to do graffiti artist Jazza as a uh, kind of paper cutout chibi character. And I'm going to create a diorama, which is really just a flat piece of paper that's been cut in such a way that, you know, this would fold up from this side and this will fold up from this side. And if I tape it on the other side, I can create this kind of brick wall over here where it will appear that he had just spray painted his... Uh, own name on the wall. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I've uh, made the sketch so that you can see. I think it's a little hard to see what I've done here in terms of um, the prep work, uh, but hopefully we'll get a sense of this diorama. This is going to be that far wall. This is going to be the wall that has Jazza spray painted on it. And here, uh, in just a moment, I'm going to begin drawing our little chibi Jazza. Alright, so I put in a few little rough guidelines to get myself started. I'm not going to try to make this video all uh, real-time. I, I, I think of it more as sort of an inspiration for a type of project you could do and just sort of make it your own. You know, I can imagine someone turning this into a, um, uh, let's say, a birthday card, something like that, and then what they've sprayed on the wall says, Happy Birthday, or, you know, any message that you want. It could be a fun way of, of uh, getting a message across. But I did want to give... I wanted to give Jazza, cartoony Jazza, this sort of sly uh, ex facial expression to go along with the fact that he's just uh, spray painted his name all over the wall. Because he's a, he's a rebel, <laughs> Jazza. He's not going to leave the wall the way he found it. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I hope people will uh, get a kick out of... Um, you know, using this video as a jumping off point, let's say, for uh, projects your, of your own that could involve the sort of basic idea of somebody spray painting some sort of message on the wall in graffiti. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up my uh, penciling. Uh, and i got to say, using this pencil, it is a really good quality art pencil. It's a real treat to be using something um, that is, uh, you know, not the kind of thing, frankly, that I get to use so often. I'm usually using just really ordinary sort of Dixon Ticonderoga pencil. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this in time lapse, and then I'm going to come back and I'm actually going to do the inking first before moving on to using the markers. Okay, so now moving on to the inking, I've taken uh, this set of six different 
uh, inking pens. I've taken the 08. He's got all the different range there. I don't know if it's showing up on the video camera. Uh, from fine tip to bold. And you know me, I love my 08. So that's probably what I'm going to do the whole project in, even though, you know, if, uh, if Jazza watches this video, he'll be like, dude, you're only going to use one of the markers instead of the whole set? What? Ah, oh, Crilly, I'll never understand you. Uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't going to try to do a, a, an Australian accent there with that imitation. Sorry, folks. It's a tough accent to do. Uh, in any case, this is a wonderful marker. I got to tell you, you know, uh, I'm used to using the Pigma Micron, but this is really quite, gives me a very similar feeling. Um, you know, you push down and you get a wider line, you let up and you get an, uh, a finer line. Very nicely made uh, pen here. So that is just one of the, I guess it's, what is it, three different types of art materials, or four really, including the pencils, that, you, that you're getting with this jazz uh, set. But it's nice to have it all in one place, and uh, I'm having fun just sort of exploring these new materials and how they work. But again, let's go ahead and just jump through this uh, in time lapse, finish this up, and then once I've let this ink dry and I erase away the pencils, so then I can come in and start getting into the marker coloring. All right, well, we got everything inked up and uh, all the pencil work erased away and time to start using these uh, markers for the very first time. And for coloring in his blue jeans, we just happen to have a color called denim. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's actually labeled for the thing I'm using it for. Thank you, Chazza, for supplying me with the exact marker that I needed. Um, and, yeah, this has got this nice sort of brush tip that you see on the Copics. And, of course, you can flip it around to the other side and get the more detailed, uh, precise line. Uh, flows real nicely, got to say. So many thanks to Jazza. You know, I mean, for him to send me all this stuff in the mail uh, just on its own is kind enough. But if you think about the expense of shipping this all the way from Australia to my home in Michigan, well, hats off to you, Jazza. You are a prince among men, and I really do appreciate it you adding me to the list of the people that you would send this to. Um, and I'm sure there are many happy people out there right now using this uh, marker kit and uh, colored pencils and all the rest of it for creating fabulous works of art of their own. But again, let's go ahead and blow through this in time lapse. I'm going to use this one. This is called Jazza Hair Yellow. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I, for me, it's going to be Jazza Hair Yellow. Let's go ahead and do this all in time lapse. I'll finish up the markering. I'm going to come back and do a little bit of color penciling, and then we're going to move on to uh, the fun part of doing the Jazza name in uh, graffiti style lettering. All right, so we've got the markering done, and I'm going to pull out a few of these colored pencils to add a bit more uh, shading here. Um, this is my preferred way of doing things. It does uh, to you know start with a base layer of marker, which is good for just getting a solid, um, unchanging color, and then you can go on top of it with uh, colored pencils and get much more uh, subtle. It seems to me. But of course, color pencil is a little harder to get that solid, you know, it takes a long time anyway to, to get that kind of uh, solid base of color. So I do feel that uh, color pencils and markers go very nicely together. There's no end to the different kinds of things you can do there. I guess one other thing I'd say is that whenever I have objects that are solid white, uh, this time I did use a gray marker for the shadow, but it can be a nice effect to add a little bit of blue. Um, which maybe artists noticed from like reflected sky, I suppose, on snow and stuff like that. But very often adding a touch of blue to the shading on white objects can be a nice little effect. Maybe even on the eyes. Don't overdo it. In any case, it is time to move on. And this next part I think I will do completely in time lapse. I'm going to be doing this Jazza signature on the wall. Um, I'll go ahead and sort of turn the page sideways to show you this is where the wall is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and do all that in time-lapse, even all the way through to the markering. 
probably just complete the whole thing, but then maybe come back and say a few words about it uh, after I've finished. Okay, well, I've completed the graffiti jazz uh, spray paint uh, section of the illustration, and we're really close to being done now. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, turn this back to show you what we've got over here and uh, remind you of how we're going to fold this together to create the final project. What I might do is add a little bit of texture to this area here uh, just to make it look a little more like concrete, you know, sort of ground type of surface. But uh, rather than showing you that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, skip that part of the uh, process. And the next thing you'll probably see me doing is a little bit of the using this uh, hobby knife to cut around the edge of uh, the Jazza figure. I'll be careful, Jazza. I'll try not to accidentally uh, cut you on the side of the ear. Uh, but uh, after that, we'll be able to uh, fold it together and create our finished Jazza diorama. All right, well, I finished cutting around the uh, contour of our little chibi Jazza here, and we are going to be ready to uh, pop him up and uh, fold together the walls to create the uh, diorama. Now one thing that I did to, to sort of help with the illusion is I put an extra piece of paper down here and con continued with the sort of uh, texture that I had created for the concrete uh, ground that he's standing on. That's something you can do if you want to do a project such as this. But let's go ahead and get on with turning it into a finished project. All right, well we've got everything in place. It is time to put this together and see if we can achieve the illusion of our little as a graffiti artist. I had added a little piece of tape back here, of course, to hold the walls together. But now, let's see if we can get... <laughs> Jazza, stand up! Take responsibility for what you've done. And there you go, my friends. The completed Jazza papercraft project. Uh, what do you think? I think it turned out all right. And I certainly had a lot of fun doing it. I want to say thanks one more time uh, to Jazza for mailing me these incredible art supplies. I will treasure them always, and uh, as you can see, they are already helping me to make some pretty snazzy artwork. Thanks again to all of you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one real soon.